I'm Yvonne, and this is... Tad. <laughs> Rizal. <laughs> Alright, um, how old were you when you first started playing music? Hmm. I was... Was I either 10 or 11? No, I would have been younger, because I actually... I think my dad gave me a ukulele. And we used to pretend to be in rock bands. I remember, like, <laughs> setting up on their bed so when we were younger. And we'd seen this guy, Diamond Joe White, his name was. Um, and he just hit his guitar and, like, yelled, from what I could tell as a kid. <laughs> I don't know what he sounds like now. <laughs> so I remember being at home, that was what we were... He, he walked in on us and I was, like, just hitting oh, my band. instrument. Yeah. yeah, and yelling. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. So that's when I started playing. I was young. And then how about guitar? I was... I think I was 11. I started on acoustic and then I got bored and I quit. And then my dad got me an electric, because so I was into Nirvana. Okay. Yeah. And then I started playing electric, and then I played that mostly electric through to, I don't know, my 20s. And how did you get into, like, folk and bluegrass then? Um, I don't know, I think it was actually on, like, Napster or some weird thing. It was just like a playlist of songs. <laughs> and. Um, I remember hearing this guitar player, and it turned out to be Tony Rice, and I was like, oh, that's what I want to do. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's so funny. I never, we grew up making fun of bluegrass, basically. My uncle played bluegrass, and it was like, you know, around the dinner table, it was kind of jokes at his expense, often. Um, but yeah, I kind of heard that, and then I, I was in Vancouver, um, sorry, I was in Calgary, and I'd been living there. I hadn't played much music, and I moved back to Vancouver Island, and... Uh, I was playing backup, like I was a rhythm guitar player in a reggae band, and the, the backup singer that I was playing with was in a bluegrass band. I was like, I want to play bluegrass. She was like, oh, our guitar player is leaving, you should meet the singer. And that was when I met uh, the guy Ira Pelche, remember Ira? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we started a band called Skagway, and that was my first sort of foray. Right into yeah. bluegrass. Yeah. And you yeah. never look back, and now you're yeah. a killer bluegrass guitar and mandolin player, too. So yeah, well, now I, awesome. yeah, yeah, exactly. I realized that. You know, there was enough guitar players, so I was like, what else can I play? That's what was the lowest hanging fruit. Oh, stop. <laughs> it's true, though. That's amazing. Cool. Yeah. Um, who has been your biggest musical influence growing up? Ooh, growing up? Well, just whenever. Whatever. I don't know. You know, when I was, I think, you know, when I was younger, I would say I was really into that grunge scene, but I, uh, I was doing something illicit one time with some of my friends and one of my buddies older his older brother kind of saw that we needed some help so he just said just stay in this room and listen to this guy and it was this Ben Harper have you ever remember Ben Harper? So I remember like it was uh, the album Fight for Your Mind and I was just like wow it, it blew my mind at the time and uh, yeah we sat and listened to that for a while and so I think that kind of like that singing that, that kind of singer songwriter thing really struck me oh. and then I listened to a lot of Bob Marley who? Bob Marley Oh, Bob Marley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so did I, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Um, you're a wonderful uh, instrumentalist, but also a great singer-songwriter. Um, who is your favorite either instrumentalist or singer-songwriter? Nowadays, I actually really like Jason Mraz, because he's so positive. Yeah. The world needs more positivity. Yeah. Uh, his latest album, too, he did what I've always wanted to do, which was I always wanted to create a, like, make a reg album, uh -huh. and he did it yeah. very successfully. Cool. My favorite player would probably be, uh, I really, I really appreciate Brian Sutton in Bluegrass. Brian Rock. Sutton is so yeah. good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. He's the one that I really, I look up to him or in my mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice.
Uh, where has been the most interesting place you've traveled to with your music? The most interesting? Gosh, that's hard to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously like getting overseas from here is always a pleasure, but I don't know if that's the most interesting. A really a, a memorable moment was when we were in England and we got to play at this little tiny uh, like cider brewery. I don't know if it was, they made their own cider. It was basically a pub, and I met a friend that I knew from here, and you know they had their own pasties. They made pasties. Oh, they yeah. Them. yeah. So that was kind of cool. Like little moments like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love playing festivals. Yeah. You know, whenever you're at like those festivals. Yeah. And it's that vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, okay, one last question. Okay. This is a little bit of a random one. What's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert? I'm not much of a dessert guy. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was growing up, uh, it was always a um, carrot cake with no raisins. <laughs> okay. Not a big raisin fan. No. No. <laughs> not a raisin fan. No. Well, thank you so much, Tad, for yeah. doing this uh, little play and interview. This My pleasure. Is always a good yeah. time. Always, it's always good fun time. to play with Vaughn. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You bet.